So if you're anything like me and you don't like uploading everything to Apple's iCloud and you prefer to save your data locally on your computer, I'm going to show you how to do that with one single click, super simple, super easy, directly from your iPhone to your computer. Now, for example, there's certain things I don't like uploading to the cloud. So if I go to my iCloud settings here and I go to show you all my iCloud settings, you see there's two things I typically don't upload for several reasons. Number one, photos. I don't typically upload it because number one, I feel more in control of my photos if I have them locally on my computer so I never upload them to the cloud I save them directly to my computer and number two the reason I don't upload my photos is because of course they take up a ton of space on the iCloud and you know that if you take up all the space you have to get more iCloud storage and all that stuff so I keep my photos stored locally and I use a software that's super simple to use to store photos and everything else any data that you would like to upload and save it to your computer you can do it using any trans now there's also messages messages I typically do not upload to the cloud. I like to save them locally to my machine as well. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to save all your data from your iPhone if you don't want to use iCloud and save storage and save it directly to your computer using AnyTrans. Now, AnyTrans has been a big partner of the channel. I would highly appreciate it, guys, if you check out the links in the description and download the software. You can download it for free. Check it out. Tell me if you like it or not. It really helps keep the channel going. They're sponsoring today's video, so I would highly appreciate it if you check it out. AnyTrans will be in the description down below let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to transfer all the data from your iphone directly to your computer with one single click using any trans now of course as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode okay so first things first of course you want to go ahead and make sure you connect your iphone by the lightning cable to your computer any trans software will recognize your iphone right here and all you have to do is simply right here transfer to mac right there so content to mac right here and this will automatically scan your iphone for any data and anything that's on your iphone that may be transferable now you can do music as well you can also do photos and messages bookmarks podcasts as you can see right here i have several options available this is my beta testing device, so it doesn't show as many options. But right here, you can also back up your music, your photos, and all that good stuff manually. You also have apps and things like that. So let's go ahead and send this content over to the Mac. And once the iPhone is connected and everything has been scanned, super simple. Just click Next, as you can see right here, and it's transferring the data directly from the iPhone with one single click. Everything I've selected from messages, photos, podcasts and bookmarks from safari are now being transferred over to the mac and this data can be saved to transfer later to another device as well and you can also view this data at a later time as well so if you want to save these messages and view them later or also photos of course save them and view them later you can do that directly using any trans and of course you also have the ability to transfer this data using any trans as well to another device which is a super cool one click method using the software as well if you want to switch iphones and you don't typically like to use the cloud to transfer all this data so let's go ahead and wait for the final process here and just like that is completely transferred to my messages on this phone my photos on this phone and everything else I selected I can view this information or also transfer this information as well so if I view it of course it's going to show me where my messages are saved my bookmarks my photos and my podcast any music anything like that that you additionally want to save you can also view that of course right there so make sure you check out any trans great software again links will be in the description down below so I highly recommend you check it out if you typically do not like to use the iCloud for certain data. Thank you for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.